how many times do I have to tell you we do not touch ourselves anywhere while on camera? <laughs> Tammy, lose the padding. You too, Fender. Link, stop hogging the camera. You are not Elvis yet. Amber, yes, hog the camera. I did not bribe that man to shoot the back of your head. Yes, Mother. And you, Mr. Collins, we shall have none of that Detroit sound today. And the kids are over the moon for Rhythm and Blues, Velma. They love it. They're kids, Corny. We must steer them in the right direction. What have you got against Connie Francis? Amber. Yeah? I, uh, got something for you. Oh, yeah? I figured we've been going together sort of steadily, and, uh, maybe we ought to make it official. <gasps> oh, Link! Your school ring, well, how precious. <laughs> oh, and look, it matches my new hair color exactly. Ah, 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 we'll have none of that. Save your personal lives for the camera, and we're back in five, four, three, two, day, day. <laughs> Now, don't forget, guys and kids, it's our very first primetime television spectacular. It's coming up on June 6th. My birthday! We'll be broadcasting live nationwide. And that's almost everywhere. Talent Scouts will be on hand from all the major record labels. Sponsoring the event will be none other than our own Ultra Clutch Hairspray. Also live on our special, we'll be crowning your choice for Miss Teenage Hairspray 1962. My big break. <laughs> and now a special announcement from our own Amber Von Tussle. What? Oh, hey. Gang, next Thursday is Mother Daughter Day. So grab yours and watch Mom and me right here on WZZT. Uh, that's right. Oh, and I want to be Miss Teenage Hairspray. So remember, a vote from you for me is a vote for me. Okay. <laughs> well, unexpected ad lib, Amber. Amber, your dancing today was atrocious. I'm willing to lie, cheat, and steal to help you win that Miss Hairspray crown, but you've got to work with me. Well, here, put these in your bra. But, Mother, these are shoulder pads. They're shoulder pads to Shelly Fabre, to you. They're a future. Once upon a time, I used to play with toys. But now I'd rather play around with teenage boys. So if I get a hickey, please don't have a cow. Cause I'm, I'm a big girl now. Who knew all the girls in Baltimore were such skags? <laughs> this town certainly has taken a dive since I wore the crown of Miss Baltimore Crafts. I may have to just fill this slot myself. Hi there. Am I too late to audition? Not too late, dear. Just. Too much. <laughs> what are you doing here? I came to audition for Corny. I've seen you at school. Yeah, well, who could miss her? <laughs> what is wrong with her? Everything. I brought my 45, so if you want to put them on, I'll show you my stuff. <laughs> I think that you've shown us quite enough. It's always been my dream to dance on the show. Oh, well, maybe you ought to go back to sleep. <laughs> Childhood dreams for me were cracked when that damn Shirley Temple stole my friggin' act. But the crowns and the bolt from an I one Miss Bolt and all fans. Those poor runner ups may still hold some grudges. They padded their cups, but I screw the judges. Those broads thought they'd win with their plates. They would spin in their dance. Not a chance. So I hit the stage with tongs of blaze. But that troublesome assault was how I clinched Miss Baltimore crabs. Thank you. It's almost dinner time. Shouldn't you be waddling along? Amber, haven't I taught you not to judge a book by its cover? No. Well, this is America, darling, where everyone deserves a separate but equal chance to fail. I'll handle this. Are you scared we're on live? No, I'm sure I can go. Well, this show is in broadcast in. I never drank one chocolate milk. No desserts for this bolt and more crabs. How many sweaters do you owe? Well, I'm sure I've got plenty. Let me see. I have three, <gasps> five. Wait, I have 20. Oh, I would say, oh, I the vault, but I can't. I miss Baltimore crabs. <laughs> You're too wide from the back. Oh, honey, look at her front. <laughs> Girls, there's no need to be cruel. Would you swim in an integrated pool? I sure would. I'm all for integration. It's the new frontier. Oh. Not in Baltimore, it isn't. Looks like we might just have a hot new candidate for Miss Teenage Hairspray. <laughs> what? No, you can't. I mean, she's the before and I'm the after, and afters always win, so... So what do you say, Tracy? Would you like Link Larkin to sing a song just for you? Would I? Would I? <laughs> You people are ignoring the laws of nature.
Fincher. Collins, you're fired. Oh, you can't fire Corny Collins from the Corny Collins show. <laughs> Why not? They do it all the time on Lassie. Mrs. Spritzer, to keep your audience, you've got to keep up with the times. Bringing Tracy on is just one of my ideas. Since when do you have ideas? It's time the kids who are on the show start to look like the kids who watch the show. Hmm? You would say. Maybe you and I should have a chat of our own. Oh, my God. That snake that sings. He's a puppet. But I hold the purse and the strings. God, I knew Negro Day would bring chaos and change. Now he's pushing this pinko who might give us all mange. She's a blemish, a blackhead that must be expelled. There's a standard of beauty that must be upheld. People say I'm a bigot. Well, it just isn't true. Look, I love Sammy Davis, and he's black and a Jew. anyone has one. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't Miss Tracy Tugboat, whoo, whoo. Knock it off, Amber. <laughs> well, I see you finally found a title that you can win. Miss Special A. <laughs> oh, watch out. Blink! Blink! Hello. What are you doing in this huge group of minorities? Well, I'm trying to fit in. What are you doing here? Why are, why are you here? Well, when you didn't show up under the bleachers, I followed you here inside my new car. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you came. Uh, jump on in, then. I, Amber, Amber! My baby, has anyone touched you? No. Oh, too late to hustle. We've been seen by a fun tussle. Motor mouth. Hmm. What's going on here? Are you the one brainwashing these children? So... You're what spawned that. <laughs> Excuse me. I guess you two are living proof that the watermelon doesn't roll very far from the vine. <laughs> Tracy, dear, dear, hold mommy's waffle. Link, come along. Amber. You're being rude to these people. Amber, come. Link, come. Amber, just go. Whatever happened to the spiceless, spineless boy that I fell in love with? Presently, it appears that Amber Von Tussle and Tracy Turnblad are neck and neck. But since, according to the latest police bulletins, Miss Turnblad is still at large. At very large. Miss yeah. Hairspray might just be a foregone conclusion. Still, our rules say contestants have to dance for it. So, are you ready, Amber? Ready as a rabbit on Easter. Okay. okay. Sure, why don't we check the scoreboard, shall we? <laughs> May we see a tally? Yes, Amber Von Tuzzle just squeaks in as the winner. What did I tell you? Give me the crown, give me the flowers, and everybody start bowing! Not so fast, Amber. What? Look, 
could just walk through the front door. Wrong! This is just so wrong! Let me see the bling. You're gonna have to pry this from my cold dead body. Shouldn't it be a problem. Oh, hey. 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 Velma, you're a genius. I am? <laughs> Ultraclutch is about to launch a new line of products and I want you to head the campaign. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what to say. It comes with offices, a company car, and a multi-figure salary. I just, I, I don't know what to say. Velma Von Tussle, you are the newly appointed president of Ultra Glow, <gasps> beauty products for women of color. 